Okay, so in this video we're going to look at the von Margold function. Now the von Margold function is a piecewise function and it's denoted with this letter here, capital lambda. So we've got lowercase lambda, which would be this, but this is capital lambda. Okay, so that's the Greek letter of the alphabet. Okay, so what we do know is that the von Margot function for any number n is a piecewise function and it takes on two values. So it takes on the value log of p if n equals p a prime number to the power of k, okay, for some k which is greater than or equal to 1. And if it doesn't, uh, if it can't equal n equals p to the k, some prime number, then it just takes the value of 0. So we're going to look at some values for this. So let's take in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for now. Okay, 2. Can we get this 2 here? So let's put n equals 2, just to keep in turn with this. And then we put here p to the k. So 2 can be made up of a prime number, 2, to the power of 1. So k will equal 1. So I'll put here k equals 1. And the p equals 2. So that would take that value. So therefore then, The von Margot function for 2 would equal log of 2, as in this one. Okay, so now let's look at 3. Well, 3 is a prime number, so 3 to the power of 1, same as here. k equals 1, and this time p equals 3. So therefore, for 3, we're given log of 3 is the value of the von Margot function. Okay, the number four. So number four can be made up of two squared. So two squared, two is a prime number, and k is larger than one, and equal, or larger than or equal to one. So that's two, and the prime number here is two. So therefore, for the value of four, we've got log of two. So even though it's two for the value of k, it still only takes the value of the prime number. Okay, the number 5. Again, 5 is a prime number, so we can say 5 to the power of 1. So that will give us k equals 1, and the prime number will be 5. So i.e. p to the k, 5 to the power of 1. So in this uh, instance, the von Margot function for the value 5 will give us log of 5. Okay. Now what about the value 6? Well the value of 6, that's not going to be a perfect square. And 6 is not a prime number. So this is going to take the value, in this case, 0. So we can't get this to happen for 6. So in this case, we're just given the value 0. OK. So there we go for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's try some other numbers. So let's try 12... 16, 19, 25, and let's try 37. Okay, 12. Can we get P to the K? So, actually, we don't need to write that there. We just carry on from here. Okay, so for 12, P to the power of K, well, 12 is 3 times 2 squared. So we've got a 2 squared, but we need a 3 as well. So in this case, we can't make this happen. So that becomes 0. And in which case, the value of the von Margot function for 12 will also be 0. 16, or 16, 16 equals 4 squared. So in this case, k equals 2, p equals 4, in which case, we get the value for the von Margot function log of 4. Okay, 19 is a prime number, 
it's going to be easy to work out 19 to the power of 1 so following on from here k equals 1 p equals 19 so now you should be seeing a pattern forming when you've got a prime number it always seems pretty easy to work out so that will then give us log of 19 following this here 25 so 25 is a perfect square so a perfect square is going to be fine here 5 squared so 5 squared using this k equals 2 p equals 5 so 25 will give us log 5 okay now actually let's put in here 36 so that'll make things a bit, e bit more interesting so 36 is 6 squared but 6 is not a prime number so therefore this does not work in which case we get take on the value of 0 for the von Margold function okay right so click on the link in the description below and I'll show you an interesting property of uh, the von Margold function involving log properties okay